Uh, I'm Keith Walker. I'm author of the book um, A A Trail of Corn uh, about the Burton Abbott story. This was the story of a a young man, 29 years old, who uh, was accused of kidnapping and killing a 14-year-old schoolgirl on her way home from school. Her name was Stephanie Bryan and she disappeared uh, near the Hotel Claremont uh, on her way home from Willard Junior High in, in Berkeley in 1955. I first became aware of it uh, through the newspapers. I was a newspaper reader like anybody else. And my newspaper that I worked for was on the peninsula across the bay from Alameda County where where it happened. It was a case that many, many people were interested in and had everybody had different ideas about it. Some people thought he did it and other people says he couldn't have. And it was a very controversial. And every day, almost every day, there was a big banner headlines about the case. Every little thing that happened, the papers would report on it. She was devastated, I tell you, devastated. You saw her picture on the front of the book. That's, that, was the, that was when the, day, when the uh, verdict was announced. The, the, the photographer caught her just as the verdict was announced. She was devastated. She said, well, if he did, had done it, okay. But she didn't feel he did. And therefore, she felt he should be found innocent. And she was determined to try to help show that he was innocent. It, it kept bothering me because, well, in fact, there was an interview uh, when he was in prison waiting to be uh, executed uh, by a, a, a reporter for the San Francisco Chronicle. And he told her, he says, she said, well, if you did it, I mean, why don't you tell, tell, say that you did it so that you could put your family at rest, let them know that at least you did it, and so they would, could accept that. And he, he said, yes, I agree, but he says, I didn't do it. I didn't do it.